everyone, this is Sherry Brandell from Style Tips with Sherry, and welcome back. Thank you for being here this weekend with me. And if you're new to my channel, I'm so glad that you're here. And I just want to say a thank you to those of you who knew that my dog passed away this week, and it was such a traumatic time for me. And it was so sad. And so thank you for those of you who have reached out. And I didn't really put it on social media except on my story on Instagram. And those of you who follow me on Instagram or on Facebook, it kind of popped over there to, to there too because it you do one, it goes to the other. But thank you guys. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Anyway, what I'm going to do on today's video is actually talk to you about the shoe trends that are popular this spring. And there are a lot of shoe trends that are out there, but they're not all wearable. And I wanted to bring to you the top 10 that I felt were the most wearable trends that you might be able to put into your own wardrobe. And so there are going to be some that you will want to wear in the springtime, and then there are going to be those that you want to wear and save maybe for the summertime. But Let's get started, and if you have a piece of paper, you might want to write these down, but you're going to see them in the store, and I'm going to tell you a couple that are my favorites that I really have actually already started seeing in the stores, and so these would be, they're going to be very easy to wear, so let's just get started. All right, so the number one, um, and I'm not saying this in any particular order, but number one is a pump, but it's a Mary Jane pump. So how about that? How cute would that be? And so we're gonna have pictures for you so I can you can watch along the way. But you know, Mary Jane classically is a, just kind of a, you know, a strap and a little bit of a heel and you wore them when you were a little girl with your bobby socks and, um, or with colored tights maybe with a cute little dress, but they're back and, there are some of you who are mostly maybe more creative in your dressing that you're probably going to love these. So if you fall into my category, which I call the creative original, you'll probably really like this one. Number two is probably my favorite and probably what you are going to see the most of in stores. And it's called the Raffia shoe. So if you remember back in the 70s, when the wedges came out, they were kind of like a sandal, their wedge, but with the raffia, uh, just the, the raffia wedge, everything was made with the raffia on, on the, the heel part of the shoe. But you are going to see these shoes in everything from a small raffia to a large, like a really tall high heel raffia, which would be a high wedge. And they're everywhere. In fact, I've seen them in the lower price stores and I've seen them in the super high price stores. This will be the easiest shoe for you to get to be instantly on trend because it's easy to find and they really are gonna be darling with your um, ankle pants or capris if you like to wear them. Sometimes I like to say, just say no to capris, but they're really back this spring and we'll talk about styles here in a couple of weeks. But they look great with dresses, they look great with shorts. They're just, it's a really cute shoe. And so we wanted to show you a couple of those in the, in the uh, visual so you can get an idea. And I would recommend that if you're gonna get um, a pair of, of these shoes this spring, maybe get them in a pop color. Maybe get them instead of a neutral. Neutral you can do for sure, would go with everything. But what if you got them in a pop color, like a yellow or a red or an orange? How pretty would that be? Number three on my list is a square toe. And it doesn't have to be a heel, but it doesn't have to be a pump. So when I think about a square toe, the it's just at the end of the shoe, and you're, you're gonna look in the photos here, but it's just, the, and your toes might even come out. It might be a sandal, but underneath that, that toe, you're gonna see a square bottom. If they are closed toed, you're gonna see a square toe. So you can get that square toe in either closed toe or open toe, but that, if you get those square toed, you're really gonna look like you know what you're doing this spring because they are not, they've never been out. Like they haven't, they weren't last year. So they're definitely gonna be like, whoa, look at her, she is in style. So look for those. And I've seen them in like flats and in heels. So whatever your preference is, you can wear a pair of square toed 
shoes. Number four on my list are flat and heeled. This really could have been four and five, but then I would have had 11. And so I wanted to kind of keep it like 10, you know, so I'm putting these together. Flat and heeled loafers. Yes, indeed. So loafers are back. You know, you put the little penny in it. I don't know if we're putting pennies in it this year, but you know, totally up to you if you want to go for that. But, but some will have a little bit of heel and some are flat. So you might even find a slide. Slides are in. That's going to be next, maybe somewhere on my list down here. It's not next, but it will be on. But you, you might find a slide that has a, uh, a penny loafer look to it. But just know that, um, loafers are back and either flat or heeled. So number five on my list is a lace up sandal. Oh my goodness, you guys, do you remember when we used to wear those? And so they laced all the way up your leg, some of them, and, and some people call them gladiator, And but the lace up, they can kind of just wrap around your ankle and they can go all the way up to kind of like your calf, they go a little higher, they can just wrap right around your ankle, but lace up sandals are back. So if you have great legs and you wanna show off your legs, that would be a really great way to do that. Number six on my list, six on my list are platform sandals. You're gonna see platform sandals everywhere. This is probably the second most um, popular shoe that you're gonna see out on the market. So you're gonna see the Raffia, it's probably first, and then you're gonna see these platform. They're basically straight across and then they're a sandal. So. If you have arch problems, I would stay away from these. If you've got, if you suffer from plantar fasciitis, or if you really just have, like, if you have arch problems and you really need a little bit of arch, an arch in your in your shoe, this isn't going to be for you. But if you can wear them, they're really cute. But um, they are flat. They're flat. They're a platform, so they're straight across. And um, a lot of them have like a white bottom to them, so you'll see those, but you'll also see them kind of raffia. You're gonna see those as well, just flat, but they're they're out there. So if you like them and you can wear a flat bottom, then go for those. Number seven on my list is um, a T-strap sandal. So if you think about a, um, like just a, a sandal that kind of just has that, it looks like a T, it kind of, honestly, you guys, you know when when um, the shoe, some of them like go right in between your toes and kind of come back, but it's really it's just it's it's a T. So we'll show you pictures so you can see what that looks like. But T strap sandals, they are mostly in flat, but I did see a few in some heels, but mostly they're not. They're mostly flats. So this might be a shoe that you want to wait for until the summertime to wear. All right, number eight on my list, I talked about this a little bit earlier, are slides. And slides are wonderful if, again, you don't have arch support problem, problem, can't even talk today, if you don't have arch support problems or you don't have a problem, you know, staying in your shoes. But they're slides and they're really beautiful. The top designers are doing slides all the way down to, you know, places that are they're less expensive. But um, they're cute. You can even find, like I said, I think I said this earlier, you can find like a square toed slide. You can find um, penny loafer slides. Oh, that's what I was talking to you about. The penny loafer, like the loafers, you can find those in slides, but they're, they're just a great shoe and they look great with skirts. They look great with, um, with, with slacks, shorts, it's an all around shoe that you can wear to many, many places. So if you can wear these, Highly recommend that. Number nine is the ankle wrap sandal. So an ankle wrap is different than the lace-up sandal. So a lace-up has a longer ribbon that's gonna lace around. The, the, the ankle wrap sandal just has a strap around your ankle. That's all it is. And they are very sturdy for your feet. So I, I remember I used to have a pair I don't know, back in the 90s. I loved those shoes. They were so fantastic and they do look really pretty. Now, if you have a, um, a heavier 
angle, I would say don't, don't wear those. You would be better with a slide or something that is not going to bring the focus to your ankles. But if you have a, you know, a pretty slender ankle, then this is a beautiful shoe for you. And number 10 on my list, I couldn't resist this one. Not that we're gonna have a lot of opportunity to wear these, but these are sandaled heels with feather details. And I remember last week when I was talking to you about details, feathers were on there and we showed you a feather dress and we, you know, dress with a feather pattern. And um, I think we showed you maybe some, you know, accessories with feathers, but you can find some shoes with them on. And so if you're kind of bold and you like, oh, I'd like to kind of, you know, wear something like this. Like if you have a wedding to go to or a, a special occasion, this might be a really fun thing. These are a dressier shoe. I couldn't find too many more casual ones, but so they're a little bit dressier. They're almost like, you'll find them kind of like a kitten heel, which will be super cute. But, um, this is just for you gals who like to dress up and you might want to find them in a neutral color. That'd probably be your best. If you're going to get these, maybe get them in a neutral, either like a, a white or a black or something like that. Maybe a, a, a kind of goldy color. That would be pretty as well. Those are your top 10 wearable shoes, most wearable shoe trends for the spring and summer season for 2020. I hope you enjoyed that. I would love in your comments to tell me which one is your favorite or actually pick two. Like which one, what are the two? I loved reading all of your ideas last week when you were um, telling me what your favorite details were and favorite um, patterns. And we've, we've gone through the last couple of weeks for things. And I love reading that. And it seems like polka dots might be the winner for for these because all of you were kind of like a lot of you picked polka dots so we'll see if that's what we see in the trend so i'd love to see what is your favorite shoe trend pick two and let me know what they are and others like to see those as well by the way next week i'm going to feature accessories and i was going to put them in this week's video but really it was just too much because there are a lot of accessories. So next week, I'm going to talk to you about accessories. And until next week, I will see you then. Bye-bye.